To begin the Wingate anaerobic test, you'll need to log into the computer using the login provided by your affiliation. From the main screen, I'll select Monarch Anaerobic Test Software. A screen like this should pop up. I will close out of this and I'm going to go ahead and add a group. For the sake of this manual, I'm going to label this group manual. I will then add a person. This person will be the test subject. Because I will be performing this test, I'm going to enter my information. I will drop my height down and my weight down to match according. I'm a female and I will enter my birthday. Okay. From here, I'm going to hit run test. I will create a new test and for the sake of this manual, I'm going to label it manual. This should be the same setup as the Wingate protocol. I will select fully automatic and the basket will drop at 70 RPMs. I'm going to select the break weight type as a percent of my body weight and that percent will be 7.5. The bout duration will last 30 seconds and I will add one bout. I will save this protocol. To prepare the bike, I will need to add 7.5% of my body weight in kilograms to the load basket. I will do that with this weight here. When you're adding the weight, make sure that you distribute it evenly on both sides of the basket. Finally, pull this lever to make sure that the basket starts in a raised position. Now that the bike has been prepped for testing, we have also ensured that the participant is prepped as well. The participant is wearing a heart rate monitor around her rib cage, tucked up under her sports bra. We have also ensured that the seat height is at a proper height for the individual at about a 5 to 25% bend when her leg is fully extended. We will now come over. She is cycling between 50 and 60 revolutions per minute currently. She has been cycling for approximately one minute. During the warm up, we want to make sure she does five all out sprints between four and six seconds so that her body and her mind is prepared for the test itself. So we are about to hit that point where we do those four to six seconds of all out sprinting. Three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back down to 50 to 60 RPMs. How do you feel? Feeling good. good. Bring it back down just a little bit. Good. 50 to 60 RPMs. The participant is able to see the revolutions per minute on her bike and I am also able to see it on the screen as the test proctor. Getting ready for your third all-out sprint for four to six seconds. Three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. We have two more after that. How are you feeling? Feeling good. good. Preparing for your fourth all-out sprint for four to six seconds. Three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. I'm preparing for our final sprint. Three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. How are you feeling? Feeling good still. Now that the participant has been properly warmed up, we are now ready for the Wingate anaerobic test. I have on standby a snack and her water bottle since she will be quickly depleting all of her energy. I will instruct the participant to begin pedaling on the two of my three, two, one, go. And at that time, she will begin pedaling as hard and as fast as she can. When she reaches 70 RPMs, the weight basket will drop, thus beginning the start of the anaerobic test. 
Ready for testing? Ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Emily. Push hard. Push through. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, 10 seconds in. 10 seconds in. Keep pushing. Keep going. 15 seconds in. Halfway done. Halfway done. Keep going. 20 seconds in. Come on, you got 10 more seconds. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Cool down. How are you feeling? Great. Feeling okay? Feeling good. Do you need water or you want to cool down a little bit? Cool down a little. Okay. It's typical that the participant feels a little bit lightheaded after testing, so we've instructed her to stand back against the wall, and I will stand up next to her just to ensure she doesn't fall forward. Now that the participant has completed testing, we will come down here to analysis. And this is represented in power over time. We can come here to test data and analysis. And this shows variable by, by variable how the participant did. Her peak power was 565. Going all the way through, her average power was 407. Minimum power was 215. Her power dropped was 349, these are all represented in watts. All the way down, her decline in power, 349, and her power drop, aka her fatigue index, was 61.93. Now that the participant has finished testing and we've made sure that she is okay, we will now clean off the bike, so I just have here an alcohol prep pad and we will make sure we wipe down everything that the participant touched just to make sure it's sanitary in between subjects so we'll wipe down the seat as well as the handlebars here we might need to grab another prep pad just make sure it's clean now that the bike is cleaned off we want to make sure we also clean the heart rate monitor as well as the strap that the participant was wearing so both of these are washed with just soap and water and a sponge or a brush of some kind. Once we finish with that, we wanna make sure we hang them up to dry. We can either hang them here with the rest of the polars or we can put them here just to make sure they are dry.